Hey guys, Nebo Neep here, and um, I'm going to show you how to mod your Nerf Nightbinder. First, what you're going to need is um, two Nerf Nightbinders. You can buy them at Walmart. They're now ranging from six to nine dollars. You're going to need a screwdriver. Sizes for you may vary, and an X-Acto knife. First, what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife binder. Mine's already spray painted and modded. And you're going to unscrew it. Make sure you take off the back. Make sure you take off the bottom the, for the battery holders. And then you're going to open it up. Now, this is what the internals of a night finder look like. There's the laser. You can see how that works with the trigger. No batteries in right now. Here is the barrel actually. This is the cocking handle and the plungers in here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. There's gonna be a screw right here and right here. For time purposes, I've already taken out this one. I'm just going to unscrew this one. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that you keep all parts in um, the area of the whatever. And um, just make sure nothing springs out because there are some springs in places. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unhook it right here. There's no screws there. And then just unhook it. And un oh, right here, there's a spring right there. Make sure you keep that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Okay. Now my knife binder is just this. So I'll put that aside. And then start taking apart this. You can just take off this cap very easily. Set it aside. Then you have this section. First, what I recommend doing is taking out this, the plunger, so you're left with this. Now, when you get yours, you'll be able to open it like this. This will just come off. And then set that aside, and then you'll have this. I've already done mine, but this won't be able to come off. I already hot glued mine back. And there'll be a part in there. It's still in there, but I just cut off the prongs for it. And you um you cut off the prongs in there. Then take it over to this part. There'll be a little stem like you've probably seen if you've ever modded a gun. It's the air restrictor. Cut that out, take off the stem, there you go, put it back. The only difference is, is that it has that thing back there that holds it in. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and put that aside. If you want to, you can reconnect these and this. Put that aside. That's good. Now, this is where the two night finders comes in really handy. If you see this part right here, there will be one rubber band right there, a little black rubber band. Open your other knife finder, find the same thing, put the other rubber band there. It makes it really good and stuff. And um, it really helps the performance a lot. It's called an O-ring, and uh, you, you'll hear you and you and 13 talk about it. Also, I added another spring. If you can see, it's kind of it's kind of denser right here. There's a spring from a gun, um, the Dark Tag Blaster. I'll go get it right now. Looks something like this. Mine's taken apart and I'm trying to fit, put it back together. Now I don't know if I'll be able to put it back together to, so because I took the spring from it, but this is what it looks like. Once you do that, and my suggestion for putting it in is kind of screwing it in, twisting it. 
Then, um, oh yeah, and to get to the spring, you'll have to unscrew this one screw really easy. Once you do that, you have it, and you can add another spring if you want. Just make sure it works. Then, take this, put it back in the plunger. Make sure that on the back side, the screw thing is holding up. Go ahead and put it back in. I suggest starting with putting it in the front and those front two prongs right there and then scooting it to the back and then you gotta make sure that this spring goes in there and then you'll, it'll click down now before you do the rest of putting it back together I strongly suggest that you take that screw and you screw at least one back in. I'm screwing it back in right now. Right there. Now just take the other spring, the other screw, excuse me, and screw that one in. Now when you're doing this, you have to make sure that the spring is in its rightful place, which is back here against a little wall. Now this yellow part right here will be a little spring and when I told you to keep the parts together keep this. All you do is take this out a little bit put it on that push it whoa be careful don't let that happen that's really annoying Got it. Put it in there and then push it down so that it goes right there and then push the whole thing down like that. Like that. Just push it down. Now you're going to want to um, put it back together. The front part, if you want it in there, you just take that out a little bit and then just put it back in. Make sure that this little prong right here lines up. Then you've got this. It's all put back together. Now you put the top cover back on and once you screw it back together, it will be ready. Okay, so now that we have screwed it back together, um, you could have painted it any way you like, um, or you can just not paint it. Um, here's where the two knife binders comes back in. Um, so these ammo holders, right here, take those out from the other one and hot glue them. Or, yeah, hot glue them, super glue them, just glue them. Attach them somewhere on the gun. Mine are angled, looks really cool, especially from the front. And yeah, um, my laser is intact, as you can see right now, and um, it still can pull back. It's pretty good shooting. I'll just do a really quick test shooting. Okay, aiming at that. You at that um, vent. It's pretty good. Okay, so um, this is my night finder. Um, shoots Stefan's and other darts. And there, two in here, two in there, two in there, one in the barrel. And I also added a scope. And okay, well um, I'll see you later, guys.